Hello everybody, I am Dr. Bobby Whitaker from Murfreesboro Chiropractic and I am a chiropractor and doctor of natural health and we're all about getting you healthier naturally. Um, this information is something that you can talk to your medical doctor about, your family doctor or whoever your specialist is that puts you on this medication. But what we're going to talk about today is there are certain medications really all medications, you're gonna to want to look them up and find out what medication um, you are on and what, what nutrients you need to replenish in your body because you're taking that medication. So if you're like me, you wanna get your body as healthy as you possibly can so that you may not need as much medication, right? Over the long term, right? So it's not like you can just jump off some medication um, just like that without, without talking to your physician first. But what we're talking about is there's always things you can do to get your body healthier, right? We know that you can, you know, just simply increasing your amounts of fruits and vegetables, um, decreasing the inflammatory foods that you're eating, like the white flour, the white potatoes, the white pasta, all those things. Um, improving your sleep and your rest, right? Um, drinking more water, you know, um, supplementing your diet with certain herbs that help your body handle stress better. So all of these things can contribute to better overall health, even intermittent fasting and the benefits of that. On our nine day shred, we intermittent fast twice together. And so um, I always tell people we are better together because I wasn't able to do that very well on my own. But now that we're doing it as a group, I'm able to do that um, 36 to 40 hours every single time. And I'm amazed at how much better my own health is getting. And I thought I was pretty healthy before. So anyway, you guys, okay, so today we're going to talk a little bit about this book called Drug Muggers. It's by Susie Cohen. She is a pharmacist. And what I love about her is she does the research and then she gives us references to show us why our bodies may need more of these certain, certain nutrients when we're taking these certain medications. So I can't go over all of them with you today, but there's a couple of topics that I thought were important that we need to address right away, right? Um, so we're gonna to talk to you today about thyroid medications and about some of the blood pressure medications. So I figure your heart goes together with thyroid, they do play role together there. But when it comes down to it and you wanna get your overall health better, um, there's so many things you can do. Like we just said, intermittent fasting, just getting your diet better, um, improving, you know, bringing down the sugar levels and getting rid of a lot of the just pure sugar out of your diet. Of course, that makes sense. Even lowering the sugar from fruit, maybe eating more just berries instead of the bananas and things like that. Um, maybe just upping your amount of veggies and just healthy proteins like grass-fed beef and range-fed um, chicken, um, things like that. And even like wild-caught salmon and um, fish that are wild-caught. So things like that that are less inflammatory, supplementing your diet with Moringa Oleifera, which is for me is a, a, a daily thing that I've done for the last eight years. And it's just because that plant is so giving and it's helped our family so much. I've seen my dad's own cholesterol went um, down like 200 points. And not to say that that was the magic cure-all for him, but it did give his body some nutrients it needed and brought down some inflammation in his body to help his body start healing and bring down that cholesterol level. So I don't have, like I said, all the time in the world to go over all that information, but let's just go over a couple things with um, thyroid medication. If you want more information on diet, I will send it to you. So reach out. If you want more information on what products I take personally, um, reach out. We want to help you. We want this to be a resource for you and empower you to be able to help you in your own health journey, okay? So thyroid medication. Um, a lot of people are on like levothyroxine, Synthroid, or Armor. So if you are, you wanna make sure you're replenishing iron and calcium into your diet. Excuse me. Make sure you're replenishing iron and calcium into your diet if you're on any of the thyroid medications, including levothyroxine, Synthroid, or Armor, okay? If you don't replenish those nutrients into your diet, you can have some long-term effects from it, okay? And so that's why this pharmacist is saying this is very important that you supplement your diet with these things. If you don't do that, she's saying you could end up with anemia, weakness, brittle nails, irritability, fatigue, osteoporosis, tooth decay, 
high blood pressure, heart disease, insomnia, acid reflux, digestive problems, and higher risk of cancer. So, I mean, you can listen to a lot of those irritability, fatigue, um, acid reflux, digestive problems, insomnia. A lot of those are already symptoms of hypothyroid kind of symptoms um, or even hyper in some instances. Um, so, you know, it could be very confusing, but what I would say is make sure you're supplementing with these and make sure it's a form that your body can handle. Iron can be a tough one, a tricky one to supplement. That's why I do it in a whole food form. I do Moringa, uh, make sure I'm getting that in on a daily basis. And that way it's a whole food form that my body doesn't deal with bowel issues from things like that. So, um, we do have some other supplements if you need something more intensive for iron, let us know, but definitely I love the Moringa, the Super Mix or the XM Plus. Okay, all right, so with thyroid again, get that sleep, lower your stress levels, um, increase your nutrients and decrease your sugar. Um, you know, become getting part of, of a community, I think that's so important. Um, and just again, overall, just kind of try to take care of the five pillars of health, drinking more water, decreasing stress levels, just the natural things that make sense, right? Um, increasing your exercise, getting outside and walking on a daily basis. That's a great place to start. And that right there can increase your mood. You know, when we see that you might be dealing with irritability due to thyroid issues, well, you know, here's another way, get outside. Um, that's a natural antidepressant. All right, so again, make sure you are replenishing iron and calcium, and that's from the book Drug Muggers, okay? All right, next we're gonna go hit on to the um, blood pressure medications. You've got ACE inhibitors, calcium channel, or calcium channel blockers, and beta blockers. So ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, and then clonidine. We're gonna go through all of those real quickly, okay? ACE inhibitors such as Captopril, Lisinopril, Quinopril, Rempril, Trandopril, all the prills. Um, but there's lots of different names for these medications. Don't let that confuse you. You can Google and find out whether your medication is an ACE inhibitor or not. We looked at my mother-in-law's um, blood pressure medication the other day and she was on a beta blocker, I believe. So again, you just wanna find out what kind of medication you're on so that you know what to replenish in your body. If you're on an ACE inhibitor, you need to replenish zinc, magnesium, potassium, and calcium. If you don't, it can cause a loss of sex drive, prostate problems, even a loss of smell or taste, hair loss, slow wound healing, frequent infections, higher risk of cancer, leg cramps, high blood pressure, weight gain, and bone loss. Okay, so none of that is what you want. Make sure you're replenishing zinc, magnesium, potassium, and calcium into your diet, okay? Um, all right, the beta blockers, atinolol, metoprolol, timolol, Natalol, Sotalol, there's a lot more names, probably a lot more generic names as well. Um, those, you're gonna need to replace CoQ10 and melatonin. So CoQ10, you guys, is very important. That cell-to-cell -cell communication. We're talking about the most basic form of your body is your cell and how it communicates between the cells. That's very important, that's CoQ10. So you want that in your body. Um, so replenish that and melatonin affects how your sleep levels are, okay? So you don't want to um, mess that up. You wanna, you wanna supplement with some melatonin. So like the sleep spray that we utilize, um, CoQ10, I think you can get that in Cytoactives. Um, but anyway, you wanna be supplementing with that because otherwise you're gonna end up with problems, maybe um, possibly with these kind of problems. Heart disease, irregular heartbeat, memory loss, muscle cramps, insomnia, um, possibly disrupted sleep, increased risk of cancer and autoimmune disorders, okay? So again, refer back to this book because I know we're kind of going through this fast, but hopefully this will help you. And as far as the diet goes, it kind of is along the same guidelines. I can send you diet information if you want, but it's again, getting rid of sugar. It's again, um, substituting with healthier substitutions, like instead of pasta, spaghetti squash, zucchini noodles, carrot noodles. I did carrot noodles the other day with some quinoa that was really yummy, super yummy ways to eat that still tastes amazing and you won't miss out on anything. Okay, now we're talking about calcium channel blockers like nifedipine, philodipine, verapamil, delta, Diltizam, okay, there are a lot of names there, a lot of big words, whatever. The main thing is, yes, you're, um, you, these are calcium channel blockers. That's what you need to know. And what do you need to supplement into your diet? 
you want potassium, vitamin D, calcium, and possibly again, CoQ10. Very important, okay? So potassium, vitamin D, calcium, possibly CoQ10. If your body's without those, guess what? Could cause problems let down the road with heart disease, irregular rapid heartbeat, bone loss, confusion, muscle weakness, thirst, leg cramps, frequent infections, high blood pressure, and fatigue. Again, nothing you wanna mess around with. These are all very serious um, issues. And it's, again, it's from the book Drug Mugger. She is a pharmacist, Susie Cohen, and she gives lots of references in here for this information. Um, last one on blood pressure meds is clonidine. And that one um, is Catapress Methyldopa Aldamet. So if you are on any of these blood pressure medications, um, make sure you are replenishing your body of CoQ10. And again, it's kind of the same kind of problems down the road if you don't, um, because CoQ10 is again, has to deal with the energy of the body. It also has to do with cell to cell communication, so many things, heart health, um, but it, it can cause problems down the road with fatigue, weakness, muscle leg cramps. My dad got uh, muscle weakness in his legs and we had to get him off of a um, cholesterol medication because it was causing that. So muscle and leg cramps, memory loss, higher risk of cancer, frequent infection, liver damage, higher risk of heart attack. <laughs> so um, not that that's funny. It's just kind of crazy that a heart blood pressure medication could increase your risk of heart attack. So again, it's because of the CoQ10. You want to make sure you're replenishing that. Not to say you need to get off of any of these medications. I do believe that you want to try to get your body as healthy as you possibly can so that you don't need as much medication. Um, when, when your body is in a healthier state, you may not need as much medication. So talk to your doctor. Maybe this will help you open the door, bring this book with you. Um, and, and so that they're not, they know that you're not just Googling your information, that you have some references here and she has references and just talk to them. Open that conversation so you can have a conversation with your physician and say, I want to get healthier. I want to work on my sleep cycles. I want to, you know, maybe um, I want to give my body more melatonin. I want to give my body more CoQ10. I want to give my body more nutrients, like with the Super Mix and the Moringa or the XM Plus. Um, I want to give my body some adaptogenic herbs that help my body handle stress better so that maybe I don't need as much of this medication, right? And again, um, you're just all about, we're all about trying to give your body the best health so that it doesn't need as much um, outside in kind of help from medication. And again, that's a conversation between you and your doctor. And hopefully what they will do is say, wow, you're getting healthier. Your blood pressure is going down. You may not need as much of this. Like my mother-in-law's lost 20 pounds and she really doesn't even need her blood pressure medication anymore. She was on a very low dose to begin with. And now they're weaning her off of that. Um, in the next two weeks, she's, she's a half a dose and then she'll probably go down to a quarter and you know, down to nothing. So, so awesome when you do see your body improving in health. Um, you guys, we do the nine day shred. We see people's bodies get healthier from that because we're putting good nutrients in. We're utilizing the benefits of cleansing and nutritional fasting, which is amazing. So I can't go on, on and on about that, but if you want more information, let me know. We're seeing people um, you know, get off some of their blood pressure medication because their body is getting healthier over time. It didn't happen overnight, but over time we're seeing um, some major improvements there. All right, I hope you guys have a great day. We wish you all the best. Um, reach out for more information. We are here to help you and we want to be a resource to help you and empower you for better health. Have a great day. Blessings.